Today I'm gonna be updating a miniature painted by my girlfriend three years ago. That the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So in this video, I'll be updating a miniature painted by my girlfriend, painted three years ago, as you guys can see right here. This video is not exclusively just for that, but it's also to share some useful tips of how I look at miniatures and how you can use these tips and apply them to many other miniatures so that you can improve your older miniatures and bring them up to date today. So the miniature that I'm working on today is Megan from Zombicide. She was painted by my girlfriend, three years ago and I hope she doesn't kill me for painting over some of her work. So here are some of the key points which I've looked at and improved upon the miniature today. So first and foremost, we are going to look at understanding volumes. As I mentioned in many of my videos, understanding volumes is very important and we need to portray the miniature in volumes first before going into the details. As you can see, as it was painted previously, the hair was just more or less a base coat and a shade. But right now, we're going to update it and we're going to portray it in a more dramatic manner and we're going to improve the volume. So as you guys see when I'm painting the hair right now, I don't go into highlighting the individual strains. So what I'm doing is that I am painting it in volumes first and then going into the higher highlights, then I go into the individual details. This allows the entire head of hair to look like a flowing uh, hair rather than in dreadlocks. And this makes Megan look a lot more feminine. And previously, because there were no highlights, this allows subtle details like uh, stray hairs to be portrayed onto the miniature. And this makes this miniature look a lot better. So as you guys can see, by painting the miniature in volumes, it allows the miniature to be a lot more readable and understand. If you want to learn more about understanding volumes, you can check out the video right here, which we have just released this week. So the next thing I'm going to improve on would be the skin tones on Megan. So as you guys can see, in the previous version painted by her, the skin tone was probably just a kiss left flash and there was no variation in colours. So it's now 2020 and understanding and knowledge about skin tones and painting has improved a lot uh, since 2017 and now I think that this deserves an update. So as you guys can see in this skin tone, I've mixed in a little bit more blue to give her a cooler skin tone to make Megan look a lot more elegant. In addition to that, I've also made some color variations where her cheeks and nose are a lot redder to breathe some light into that skin tone. If you want to understand how to paint female flesh a lot better, you can check out our video right here which we have posted this week. So the next important thing that when I'm looking at an older miniature, I would be thinking about how to render an environment. So for Megan, I'm trying to render an environment where she's in a cold environment with a warm underglow. So this allows the miniature to be readable from most angles and also to be unified and coherent to the rest of the zombie side heroes which I've painted. So to render this cool environment, what I've done is, as you guys can see in the video, I have added in a lot of blue tones into all the highlights. So in this blue tones in the highlights, it sort of like has the same highlight for the entire miniature which allows the miniature to be more unified and this unifies all the colors. In addition to this, I've added in a little bit of orange glow from the bottom left side so that the trailing bits and other details would not be missed by only having one highlight. So by rendering the environment to the miniature, not only it unifies all the colors but when put with the rest of the miniatures, it makes for a more convincing story. So up next, I'll be rendering little details. So in improving Megan, I've also looked at rendering details such as the non-metallic metal sword and other small details. These things actually help the miniature pop up a lot more rather than just having a base color because there's a variation in value and there's a variation in material. This makes the miniature look a lot more interesting and I feel that you can apply this to your miniatures. And lastly, about readability. Readability is really important and I've always been stressing about it. Readability is the ability for your viewer to understand little details about your miniature 
without knowing what universe or what the thing is. It allows the viewer to automatically draw on their own knowledge and draw on their own understanding and make the miniature look so much more interesting. So if you want to understand about readability, you can check out our video right here. Or as you guys can see, what I'm doing is that I've been black lining and I've been creating a clear distinction between the materials. So this allows the materials to have a break between colors and allows the viewer to understand where the material starts and stops and what type of material it is. So I particularly focus on in between the skin and the magenta dress because as you guys know, the skin is also a off color of pink, which is very close to magenta. And we don't want these tones to mix together. That's why there's a little bit of dark color in between to show that there's some distinction. So there we have it. So those are some of the top tips where I have worked on Megan, which was painted by my girlfriend two years ago. Please don't kill me, okay? So when working in collaboration with another artist, it's always very good to have some respect for the work and always ask for permission first, all right? So remember guys, these things aren't just for painting over your girlfriend miniatures. You can paint over your older miniatures and you can see how you can improve on these things and these are some of the pointers which I pick up upon. I hope that you found this useful and if you did, please share it over social media because it helps us a lot. And if you can afford it, please head on to become a patron. Keeps our channel going and I'd like to thank my patrons for allowing me to do this and I hope to see you in the next video. See you guys.